Why vinyl? Today I'm going to talk to you about how I got into collecting, why I continue to collect to this day, and the importance for us as record collectors to share our passion and our knowledge with the younger generation. All that and more coming up next. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Maybe your experience with vinyl and collecting records is similar to mine. After you watch this video, let me know in the comments below. How did you get into this hobby? Let's talk about it. But first, love vinyl? Why not tell the world with a channel 33 RPM t-shirt? All proceeds help this channel continue to grow. Link below this video. I appreciate your support. So here's the thing, as a child of the 80s, collecting records is just what we did. I mean, it was like buying Slurpees, reading comic books, playing video games, and buying records. That is how we consumed music. There really weren't many other options. I mean, I guess there were cassettes. I'll talk more about that coming up in a bit. But with me and my friends, it was all about collecting records. And and I would try to buy records my friends didn't have. So for example, if I got the latest Judas Priest album, my buddy would get the latest Iron Maiden album. And I would tape the Judas Priest album for him on cassette. He would tape the Iron Maiden album for me on cassette. And that's another way that we expanded our music library and discover new music. The other thing, and I can't overemphasize the importance of this, and that was radio. Whether it was listening to the top seven at seven on my favorite radio station or the top 10 at 10, whatever it was, we would regularly tape songs off the radio so we could go back and listen to them whenever we wanted. Eventually, I got a Walkman or a Walkman knockoff, a cassette, a portable cassette player with, with headphones. And so my focus started to change a little bit. I started to buy more pre-recorded cassettes. Don't get me wrong, I did not give up on records. And really at the time, for me as a kid, it came down to artwork. If I was going to get this album and the artwork was super fantastic, I didn't want to buy the cassette. I mean, you think the artwork on compact discs is small. <laughs> cassettes, I mean, that was so small and the lyrics were near impossible to read. So, I mean, even at that age, I knew that if the artwork was cool, I had to get the record. Or if the packaging was cool, I was gonna get it on vinyl rather than cassette. And then around 1989, 1990, when I was in high school, there was something that came out, a new technology that really disrupted things, and that was the compact disc. I got my first job making five bucks an hour at McDonald's. First thing I bought was a new electric guitar. The second thing I bought was a brand new Sony boombox. And the third thing I bought was a compact disc player. And I remember I bought 10 or 11 CDs for a penny from Columbia House. How many of you are members of Columbia House? Better yet, how many of you still owe Columbia House money? Anyway, so I started building up a CD collection. I was still buying records. Um, by that point, I had pretty much phased out buying pre-recorded cassettes, but then I started buying compact discs and I would record my compact disc on cassette and I'd use that to play in my car or on my Walkman. And I still have this memory because I was buying records and I walked into a downtown record store in my hometown, it was called Musiplex. And I remember the one time I walked into there and the record section had just shrunk down to this little, little tiny section, this um, huge music store. I remember that record I bought. This was the last record I bought from that original record era 1.0. This was Ace Frehley's um, second sighting uh, it says it came out in 1988, but I'm pretty sure I bought it in 1989 for $8.94. And at that point, I realized that retail was kind of pushing out the record. So I shifted my focus and I started buying 
CDs at that point pretty much exclusively. Now I want to be clear, just because I stopped buying records regularly, I never gave up my record collection. I kind of stopped listening to records for a period of time. Our family record player broke and there was really nothing else to listen to them on, but I held on to that collection for years. I still still have them. I mean, I still have the very first record I bought, which was Quiet Riot's Metal Health. I bought this one in 83 or 1984 with my uh, allowance. And I just, I hang on to these things. So I never sold my records, but from about 1990 until about 97, I didn't listen to records. And that's because I had no record player, but then it was around 97. My parents for Christmas got me a record player. It wasn't a great one. Um, it had no, um, counterweight or adjustable tracking force or anything like that. It was like a hundred twenty dollar Sony record player, but it allowed me to start listening to records again. So I kind of did that and I was buying used records once in a while, but I never really got fully back into collecting for a while. And the reason I got into it, well, I blame my wife. It was 2009. And as I said, I still have my record collection, but I wasn't really listening to it a ton. And for Father's Day that year, my very first Father's Day, my wife bought me a reissue of Kiss Alive. And that changed everything. It kind of blew me away. I was like, to be honest, at that point, I had no idea that they were still producing new records and reissuing records. And here I got a brand new copy of Kiss Alive from Sherry. And that blew my mind. So after that, it was all downhill, man. Took out all the records and just got back into it 110%. And I think at the time, this is going back 11 years, I was really missing that tangible music experience because full confession at that point i had gotten to the whole downloading thing i didn't stop buying cds but i had really slowed down i was on limewire all the time downloading music so you just looked that spark under me again when i got that record it just got me excited about music again and being able to purchase all the records i loved and also getting new releases on vinyl all right so we've talked about my journey of record collecting from record records to cassettes to CDs back to records again but what makes vinyl so special and that's sort of back to the original question I posed in this video why vinyl I guess first of all it's a tangible experience and definitely that's what I was missing by streaming and downloading music I wanted to physically hold a record in my hand and just that that whole ritual the taking the record out of the jacket the putting it on the platter the bringing the needle over and lowering it down and 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 just hearing the music kick in for the first time you guys as well as i know that there's nothing else like that experience i mean of course the other great thing about collecting records is the artwork and this record is not the best example this is just the first record i ever bought but i mean we talked about this earlier in the video you have a 12 inch by 12 inch cover you have artwork you have larger lyrics and you sometimes have unique and cool packaging and that's something that is unique to vinyl um, at least in most respects of course compact discs and cassettes do have artwork but it's just not the same you're looking at something very small compared to something very large and of course you can't talk about record collecting without talking about the sound of records they can sound amazing not always i mean of course it depends on how well you treat your records how you clean your records and the quality of your sound system but once you start checking off all those boxes you know that you are in for a heck of a listening experience in general in general and i'm not saying this to be a format snob i'm not a format snob by any stretch of the imagination to this day i continue to love compact discs and i still buy compact discs and high resolution streaming can sound amazing but those two formats to my ears anyway still lack and this is such an overused term but still lack the warmth of a record and that huge soundstage that vinyl can offer and i believe is 
probably a byproduct of the analog listening experience, but that is a topic for a different video. The other thing with vinyl and record collecting is the community. You meet all sorts of amazing people doing this, and that's why I enjoy going to record shows, and that's why I enjoy doing these videos. And I think you really miss that sense of community if all you're doing is streaming records because you're not going to talk to basically a stranger halfway across the world about your latest stream i mean it just doesn't happen i mean the other thing i just think is so important is that for us more seasoned collectors i guess middle-aged guys like me and that's really to share our passion for this hobby with the younger generation because if we're not doing that i mean this hobby is gonna die and when you go to record fairs and you go to record shows and record store day i mean i personally think it's encouraging to see more and more young people out there looking at records and i know a lot of people aren't really a lot of us are just so protective of this hobby, right? And we see newcomers and are like, what are you guys doing here? I can't overemphasize how important it is to get young people into this hobby. And unfortunately, there are some people who still give kids a hard time, particularly kids with inferior gear and suitcase style record players and crossley record players and all that but come on guys, we all start somewhere. So I just think it's so important for us to help younger people learn the ropes and get into this hobby if we don't this hobby dies when we die but i digress dear 33 years back to the original question why vinyl i think it comes down to three things number one is the experience number two is the sound and number three is the community meeting people and sharing our passion with others but that's my take. I'd love to know, what do you think? All right, dear 33ers, as I just said there, what do you think? Why do you collect vinyl? What is it with this hobby that makes it so special? How did you get into it? I would love to know. Let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you dug this video, I would appreciate a quick thumbs up. Otherwise, dear 33ers, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.